So what about David Williams? This He's is got extraordinary. This, this is story. extraordinary. As uh, fans of Britain's Got Talent may remember, I think it's now about, uh, it's at least one series ago, about a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, he got caught... Uh, making nasty comments about contestants and audience members uh, at a, a show recording yes, at, at the L London Palladium. And the comments were really, really nasty. Mm. He apologised afterwards and said, look, it was supposed to be a private conversation uh, and uh, it shouldn't have been made public. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I regret what I said and I apologise. Yeah. But of as a result of this, by the way, he was a very, very popular judge. He had to step down, he had yeah. to quit. Well, now, uh, almost two years later... Extraordinarily, as you say, Mike, uh, he, he's suing Fremantle, right. which is the company that produces Britain's Got Talent, claiming substantial damages uh, for the leaking of these comments. Uh, and what he says is uh, he was entitled to be protected under the Data Protection Act and that they've uh, defiled that and made his comments public, and therefore he wants substantial yes. damages. Yeah, this is a, an exclusive in The Sun uh, by Paul Sims. Interestingly, though, he doesn't dispute what was leaked, does he? He doesn't say well, he can't. It wasn't true. He, he can't. Right. He can't because we all heard it. Mm. I mean, we, th that that was the problem there. He's saying that basically these were all part of private conversations that were never intended for broadcast. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. That's true. Uh, however, uh, what is confusing people in the showbiz community is why now? Why, yeah. why has he taken nearly two years to do this? Yeah. It is quite weird, isn't it? It says here, during his decade at the judge's desk, he stripped to his underpants, was lowered in from the ceiling as the oh. Queen and, and danced as part of a troop in Navy outfits. So, I mean, David, what is David Williams doing now? Well, he writes children's books yeah. very, very, very successfully, successful, but yeah. his television career, uh, ever since uh, this debacle, has declined. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, people are talking about, oh, it's really put a strain on his friendship with uh, Simon Cowell. I would suggest that friendship's completely over. Right. And uh, the, the sad thing is that David Williams, you know, I, I watched him several times on that show, and he was very good at it. And at the National Television Awards, every single year, he won just judge of the year, the right. most popular judge. So it's a sad state of affairs, but it is confusing everyone as to why now he suddenly launched legal action claiming substantial damages. You would have thought he might have done that soon after the event. You would have thought so. Quite strange.